Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kimberly and I'm now a second year medical student from the Lee Kong Chen School of Medicine under NTU Singapore. So today's video is going to be the highly anticipated part 2 on scholarships and bursaries. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out part 1 first. In that video, I talked about the cost of studying medicine in Singapore. And in this video, I'll be talking about how to reduce this cost. So as a quick disclaimer, in this video, I will only be talking about NTU bursaries. I will not be talking about NUS. There are too many in NUS for me to really go through and I don't feel comfortable talking about it because I'm not from the school. As always, all the necessary links will be in the description box below. So if you want to read more and find out more information, go ahead and check those out. With all that being said, let's get into the video. As I have discussed in part 1, the general cost of studying medicine can be broken down into three separate categories. Firstly, the tuition fees. Secondly, accommodation or living expenses. And thirdly, other miscellaneous expenses. So in general, when you are researching for scholarships and bursaries, it's important to take note what they offer. Meaning, do they cover the tuition fees only, accommodation only, or do they cover both, for instance? It's also important to look out for how much they cover. Some awards only give a fixed amount instead of covering the entire tuition fee. And lastly, it's important to look out for how many years the award is tenable for. For instance, if the award is tenable for 5 years, it simply means that you will be able to hold this award for 5 years and every single year, all you have to do is just update the information and you will be able to get the award again. For medical students studying in NTU, we have the option of applying for both NTU scholarships and bursaries as well as LKC scholarships and bursaries. Unlike the LKC financial aid that is specifically for medical students, NTU financial aid is open to all students studying in NTU, meaning that you will be competing with students from other courses for these awards. In fact, some awards from NTU are specific in excluding medical students from applying, but I have done the brunt work for you guys and have found out which are the scholarships and bursaries that you guys are eligible to apply for. So let's get straight into it. To be perfectly honest, NTU actually offers a lot of scholarships for its students. But unfortunately, a lot of these awards are very cost specific. For instance, they are only for students in the humanities and arts or engineering. And those that are not so cost specific tend to exclude medicine from applying. And so the few NTU scholarships that you guys can actually look into are the Nanyang Scholarship, the College Scholarship, as well as the School Scholarship. These are all awards that are eligible for local and international students. They fully cover the tuition fees. Additionally, the College Scholarship provides living allowance of $5,000 a year. The Nanyang Scholarship provides living allowance of $6,500 a year, as well as accommodation allowance $2,000 for those staying in NTU halls, a travel grant of $5,000 for overseas exchanges, and a one-off computer allowance of $1,750. As a personal tip, I honestly think that the NTU scholarships are very difficult to get because they are very limited in number and everyone in the school can apply for them. So honestly, I do think that the LKC scholarships are much easier to get in comparison. Moving on to bursaries, NTU offers the Higher Education Bursary, the Higher Education Community Bursary, as well as the NTU Bursary. They also offer many other bursaries, but these are all donated by private organizations and individuals. So it's important to note that these three main bursaries are only eligible for Singaporeans. Permanent residents and international students can only apply for the donated bursaries by the private organizations or individuals. However, these are also very limited in number and quite difficult to get from what I understand. Now, the amount that these bursaries cover totally depends on your household income. And so the lesser your household income, the more the bursary will try to compensate. Also, it's possible to hold multiple bursaries concurrently. I myself am holding two separate bursaries, so it's definitely possible. However, it's important to note that these bursaries are only tenable for one year, meaning every single year you need to put in a fresh application. There is no guarantee that the next year you will be able to get the bursary again. Next up is the LKC scholarships. These are specific scholarships for medical students and it's offered from the LKC School of Medicine rather than the NTU's Office of Admission and Financial Aid. So all the scholarships that I'm going to be mentioning are tenable for 5 years, meaning you will have it for your entire duration of your course. So the school offers the following scholarships. Firstly, the Ng Git Chong Foundation Scholarship, 
which is only for Singaporeans or permanent residents, and they grant $3,500 each year. Next up, the LKC Medicine Scholarship, which is only for Singaporeans. It covers the full tuition fees. It provides $6,000 of living allowance per year, $500 of book allowance per year, and a one-off computer allowance of $1,500. Next up is the Tokien Chui Scholarship. I apologize if I'm messing up the names here. This is also only for Singaporeans, covering the tuition fees with $6,000 living allowance a year and $500 for book allowance per year. Then we have the ASEAN Undergraduate Scholarship. This is a very special one, I think, because it's open to international students or permanent residents from the ASEAN countries with the exception of Singapore. This means students from ASEAN countries can apply and Singapore students cannot. So this particular scholarship covers the tuition fees as well as a living allowance of $5,800 per year. I think there are quite a few of my batchmates that actually hold this scholarship. Next up is the Irene Tan Liang Kang Scholarship, which is open to Singaporeans only with the priority of those with lower income families and covers $30,000 a year. Then we have the Sim Yong Chong Medical Scholarship, which is open to permanent residents as well as Singaporeans, with a preference for those who can speak Mandarin, and covers $15,000 a year. And lastly, we have the SAF Medicine Scholarship. This is also a very special one. It's open to Singaporeans and permanent residents intending to take up uh, citizenship, and specifically for those who intend to become military doctors. You will be provided full tuition fee coverage. You will also be given a monthly salary, book allowance, one-off computer subsidy of $1,500, accommodation subsidy, and one-time sponsorship of overseas electives. However, you will be required to serve a six-year bond with SAF working as a military doctor after graduating, and this bond runs concurrently with the MOH bond. Lastly, we have the LKC Bursary Awards. There are two that LKC offers in particular, the Lee Kong Chien Bursary as well as the L Parish Bursary. The Lee Kong Chien Bursary is probably the most common award in my school. I personally have it as well as a lot of my other friends. So all students, including local and international students, are eligible to apply as long as your gross monthly income per capita is less than 2250 or your gross household income is less than 9000 Meanwhile, the L Parish Bursary is actually a lot harder and I don't actually know if anyone has it because there's only one award that's given every year. Similar to the LKC Bursary, it has the same household income requirements. The amount that the bursary covers depends on how much your income is and you can hold these bursaries concurrently with other bursaries such as the Higher Education Community Bursary, for instance. Aside from all the options that I've listed in this video, there are other financial aids available that you guys can look into. For instance, study loans or tuition fee loans, as well as emergency grants and emergency funds. These are eligible for both local and international students alike. As some final points to mention, the application for all these awards occur after you get into the school. So you have to first apply and be accepted into LKC Medicine before you have the ability and the access to the application procedures to all these awards. The scholarships for both NTU and LKC alike require interviews and sometimes even tests. Once again, all the relevant information will be in the description box below and I wish you guys all the best in your applications. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this useful. Please leave a like, leave a subscribe. It really helps my channel out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!